For parents, shielding our children from harm is of utmost importance. We buckle them in car seats, we make sure they wear sunscreen, we watch vigilantly for signs of illness. When it comes to technology, though, it seems that parents may underestimate the potential for harm to their children. Today's kids are watching more television, playing more video games, downloading more apps, and staring at more screens than ever before. Toy companies are making teething toys that can hold an iPhone or tablet so that very young babies can spend time playing games and watching videos without harming the device. But what about the kids? Is all of this screen time as harmless as we seem to think it is? Technology could cause weight gain, and childhood obesity is usually the first topic discussed when it comes to children and technology. That's because there's a very real connection between screen time and weight gain for kids, all the way from toddlerhood to the teenage years. In fact, researchers found that too much screen time was a better indicator of whether or not a child would be obese than whether or not they got enough exercise. The evidence is clear, sitting in front of a screen has detrimental physical effects on kids. That time in front of a screen not only equals less time being active, it is also linked to a poor quality diet. Kids who watch more TV are not only more likely to be obese, they're more likely to eat unhealthy foods. Kids who don't spend so much time vegging out on the couch make better food choices, which improves their overall health. Technology may also affect the amount and quality of sleep children get each night. Video games in particular are very stimulating to the adolescent brain. Playing video games before bed increases the amount of time it takes our kids to fall asleep. Kids who play video games before bed report feeling less sleepy than kids who did other activities including watching DVDs. As screen time increases, the amount of time kids spend sleeping decreases. The availability of technology is even changing the way kids store and recall information. Now that kids are able to find almost any information they want through internet searches, they are less likely to think it's important to remember that information long term. Why memorize facts when you can simply Google them later? People who believe they will be able to look up facts later on are less likely to remember those facts at all. It's a phenomenon called directed forgetting. And it has serious implications for how today's students learn. Since technology integration is so important in schools now, many teachers focus on keyboarding skills instead of handwriting. However, studies show that learning handwriting is actually key to developing reading skills, including comprehension, spelling, and fluency. One researcher found that kids who learn keyboarding instead of handwriting in second and third grade wrote fewer words, wrote slower, and expressed fewer ideas through writing than kids who learn handwriting. Perhaps the most frightening way technology may harm children is its influence on the way they form opinions. Kids have access to more information than ever before. They can read about brand new technologies almost immediately, but most of the online articles they view have comments, Facebook likes, tweets, and other user-generated data attached to them. One study showed that readers' opinions about the safety of a new technology change based only on whether the article's comments section was primarily positive or negative. Kids have all the power of the internet available, but they may be losing the ability to effectively gauge the accuracy of information. All of these potential risks to kids can be mitigated by one thing reducing the amount of time children spend in front of screens. Whether it's a TV, tablet, cell phone, or computer, kids who spend too much time staring at a screen of any sort are in danger of physical, developmental, and emotional changes that might affect them for the rest of their lives.